Hello, Trinity friends, and happy Wednesday in the Word with Miss Alyssa. So today we are going to be talking about being a peacemaker. So we're going to be reading from 1 Samuel 25. Um, and you have a bigger chunk to read today. It's going to be um, verses 1 through 35. So um, you or another adult can go ahead and read the story aloud of Abigail from 1 Samuel 25 and talk about what you can do to be a peacemaker and when you should ask for help from an adult. Um, and part of this, if your kids like to get up and move their bodies, um, act out a situation where peace needs to be made. Now, we can um, explain to them that peace is proving that you care more about um, each other or the other person um, than winning an argument. And um, really talking with your tiny humans and, and processing together um, about looking and listening for times where you can then go and be peacemakers. Every day there are new challenges and especially for our tiny human friends, um, finding ways to really um, be in tune with our emotions and be in tune with um, obstacles that may come up and how they can um, care more about the other person than winning an argument. And we see um, that in the story of Abigail and Nabal. Um, she had offered peace to David by loading up her donkeys with gifts. And what do you think were some of the gifts of peace that Abigail gave? And if your tiny humans like to draw, we're trying to get some different um, methods of creating those brain neurons um, and brain pathways. And so draw a picture of a donkey and the gifts you think she gave to David and his men. And to let your tiny humans know that they can make peace with others. And sometimes it can be very challenging, not only for our tiny human friends, but also for us big friends sometimes, as we navigate different challenges of relationships, maybe with friends or family, and to ask God for help when making peace with others. And I have a great prayer that I wanna share with you guys today. And it goes like this, dear God, you are the ultimate peacemaker. Help me to listen and learn about you and how you made peace with others. God, give me the courage to make peace with others when I need to. Help me to be a peacemaker among my family and my friends. I love you. Amen. And we can thank God and rejoice that he is the ultimate peacemaker. So I hope this gives you some encouragement. And I know I've said this again, and we'll constantly reiterate this, you know, moms and dads, grandmas, grandpas, whoever is caring for the tiny humans in your life, you are the biz biggest example for your tiny humans. They are watching you and modeling you. And for you to live out being a peacemaker is something that they will not forget. And you can talk about, that was a really a big challenge for me, but I knew that I had the Lord's strength and that he was with me and um, continue to glorify God and to ask for his help. And you can help others make peace. So praying that that's an encouragement for you this week and I'll see you next time. Bye friends.